what are we doing today? Well, it's a bit windy because I've got the air conditioning running and that's partly because I've got multiple sclerosis and heat bothers me. So, back to what we're actually doing. I just received a pack of these so-called 24 volt um, BA9S globes. I think they're 12 volt. So we're going to see if we can modify them, but first, a little bit of destruction. So, we all know what an LED looked like when it lit up and all the rest, so we're going to actually feed this 24 volts off the bat like it was intended to take. I may burn myself here, but see what happens. We'll run this for a little bit and see what goes on. The colour's definitely changing. We'll give it a moment and see what happens. I did this before off camera and it smoked pretty badly, so I figured I'd sacrifice one for the camera. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of smoke come out. My finger is starting to get a little bit warm. And there's our smoke coming out in... <laughs> yep, there's more smoke coming out. I should probably change the camera angle here so you guys can see around my fingers a little better. There's definitely the smell of hot silicon in the air. I'll let it go hopefully till it burns them out a little bit more. Keep it going, keep it going. But yeah, we're feeding 23 volts into this at the moment, like, you know, I should take that, but in either case it's running very hot. Oh, and we've just popped out. The whole thing went pop. I think there's a series string. So, um, I'm not seeing which one of these actually burnt out, but um, I'm willing to bet that there's just a current limiting resistor in this base. Feels a bit flimsy, so I'm going to heat the base with the soldering iron and see if I can lift that off and see what value that resistor is. Now let's see if they go pop or burn my fingers. Well, well, okay, yeah, she started burning out. <laughs> well, we're going to sacrifice one. Let's do it properly, hey? see how we go here. Let's give it a run and see what happens. Yeah, she's definitely smoking. Yeah. Yeah, I can smell a hot silicon, so... Alright, so, answer that question. No, they're not 24 volt. Now, this little black bit here is an insulator. It usually works as a thermal insulator as well. So we can lift that off. That was actually considerably easier than I thought. Uh, my COVID sanitized hands can't cook these bases very well. But, let's have a look what's under this. We'll dissect what's going on in here. Well, there's two legs in here. Um, well, at the very least, it would be easy to pack a resistor in there. But, um, yeah. I don't see what else is going on in there. So, um, I might try packing a resistor in here. What have I got resistor wise? Um, here we go. The stuff falling out of the shelves up above because these were tangled. Give me a moment to pick some stuff up off the floor. Alright, so what are these guys? These are um, orange, white, black, black, brown. That's 3900. So 390 something brown is what, like 1 or 2% tolerance? Let's whack one of them on there. Um, let's sacrifice a new one and see if we can feed it on 24 volts with a 390. I normally use a 390 for 12 volts, but my logic in thinking here is that um, if they'll run off 12 volts happily, there's obviously a resistor in there to a similar value. Um, so hopefully that should reduce the current enough that uh, it should happily run on 24 volts and we yeah okay so one leg gets bent over and one leg gets straightened out so we're going to use the straightened out leg I think that will be the easiest let's get this resistor in and we'll clip to that bit right we have our resistor in and uh, now I'm just going to clear out the end cap here with a desoldering gun we'll do that and we'll plonk our end cap. Oh, we've got to plonk this guy back on first. And then this guy's got to come through and go over the edge as well. This is the fiddly bit. So let's just 
see if we can maneuver that in appropriately. I might straighten that wire back out. I'll just bend that back over once it's through. See if we can maneuver everything in through that little insulator there. Help you go through that side. Okay, so U bend over the side, that obviously gives us negative. Our resistor is kind of too tall. It is a bit. So I might have to maneuver that or bend it down in there a little bit. Let's um, give that a bit of a bend in there and hope that we don't short anything out. Looks like that's bent right. Shove our wire through the end here. That bit over there. Fold you to one side and give it a little bit of solder. And we'll see if this works on 24 volts without smoking. Do a little bit of a dob there. I'm only going to this effort because I really only need like three or four of these and that's an achievable amount to do. So now, let's give ourselves 24 volts and see if she smokes. Um, I might try and get a better contact with this clip on here. Will it clip onto them lugs? It might do. Here goes nothing. Well, it's not quite as intense but that's okay and they're not getting hot. I can put my hand on them this time. That's good. Well, that's certainly nice because I'm replacing map lights with these things and um, I don't want the map lights to uh, get too hot. No, they're lukewarm. They're probably about 30 degrees. Let's compare that to, um, <laughs> to El Destructo here. Um, this is an un this is one without the resistor. Well, I think this is the one that's already gone pop. I believe it is. So yeah, this is the one that already went pop. So I think they're in a series string anyway. Oh, I had a little flicker out of that guy. Let's have a look. No, she's dead. So 390 ohm resistor as a ballpark figure. We'll tame them down enough. Oh, I nearly shorted out then. Thank you for overload protected board. So yeah, 390 will calm it down enough to be useful. And I think I don't want a lot of light for a map light. I only want a little bit of ambient light. So I think that will do the job. Before I go too much further, I'm going to mark it. And put a little mark on there so I know that one's been modified. And we'll do a whole bunch more. That's a little quickie video. I hope it's been interesting and I hope it helps you modify some of these if you have a 24 volt need like me. Alright, see you in the next one guys.